Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be doing a little bit something different. Um, but before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out, of course. So today's one's going to go to Gaddis Ayu. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. So as you guys know, I love online shopping, and sometimes even more than actually going to stores and shopping, it's just... You know, in London, it's just so hectic. It really is. I love browsing online and a lot of the times I would stumble across a product that I think, okay, I actually might get this, but then I don't and then I completely forget about it and then I stumble across it months later and end up buying it. So lately I've been obsessed with Shoptago, which literally has me on point and organized with all my online shopping. It helps me get the best prices. It notifies me when a product I wanted is back in stock. Um, it's just, like I said before, it's literally going to be your online shopping best friend, okay? Thank you so much to Shoptaker for partnering with me on this video and I'm going to show you how to use it and we're going to do a little bit of online shopping. So the first thing you want to do is install the Shoptaker button to your browser and it's super easy and all you have to do is click on the Get Shoptaker button which is free of course and the Shoptaker button will be installed. It's that quick guys. What I do really like about my Shoptaker dashboard is that everything's there. You can organize everything. So like I have my blush section, bronzers, you can choose to receive notifications um, if the price reduces by I think it's 25% or 50% or if there's any change in the price at all you can choose that and you can get a email notification or mobile push notification which is so convenient. Once you go to your checkout page um, Shoptaker will tell you that they found some coupons that they'd like to try so look how good that is and you literally don't need to do anything don't forget to check out Shoptega. i'll leave a link in the info box download it into your browser and then you can just thank me later in the comments below now let's go on to feel unique we've got my Shoptega button right here um i think the first thing that i wanted to get actually was this bronzer the physician formula bronzer the butter bronzer i've heard so many good things about it so i think the one i'm gonna get is the deep bronzer so we can add that to bag it does ask you if you want to save the item but in this case i'm not i'm gonna put nars blush there's these liquid blush that i've seen nikki secret use and i've been wanting to get it i don't know what shade though is that the one? Oh, it's orgasm i don't think i want orgasm do i so this says you can use it in all skin types okay let's try it let's try it we'll add that to the bag i think i want the nars tinted moisturizer for sure I'll... oh they have it they have my shade so cuba was the one i wanted to get so that's there oh my god i'm so excited they have less than five in stock though right what else i'm what else do i need shall we look for concealer I'm so obsessed with my um, Tarte um, concealer. Oh wait, there's the Charlotte Tilbury concealer I wanted to try. She came out with a new one. Yeah, it was the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Apparently, it's really full coverage. So I think I'm going to go for eight. Actually, no, seven looks better. Let's go for seven. Because I use eight and nine for my foundation. Yeah, seven looks a bit better. All right, let's go for that one less than 10 in stock i'm obviously choosing makeup that are in demand okay we've got foundation concealer blush and bronzer powder should i just get the laura mercier one that everyone talks about look it's literally the first one that came up should i just do it should i just do it should i not do it but then i really wanted the charlotte tilbury one which one should i get guys The Laura Mercier one has 221 reviews though, so I should just, I just, I think I just need to go for the Laura Mercier one. Let's just add that. The one that I needed was the medium. Yeah, medium. Let's put it to my makeup surge folder. Save. Maybelline Lash Sensational in intense black. That's the one you need, okay? So we're gonna add that to the bag. And I think that's it, guys. We're gonna do that. 
I really really want this cherry one really do especially it's this peachy one I think it's this one beach bomb so I'm gonna save this so expensive though like 60 pounds almost 60 pounds for blush like I, I can't justify that yet so and I know it does go on sale sometimes I'm really hoping this will suit my skin I swear they had different shades yeah they do oh well none of them are in stock and blush this will notify me as well when it's back in stock as well let's try this one okay let's try that one so i'm gonna wait for all the products to come and we're gonna try them out which i'm so excited about all right guys i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so the products are now here i'm so excited to try these we're gonna jump straight into the makeup application and the first thing i'm gonna try is the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer in the shade cuba medium three this is what the shade looks like on the back of my hand it's literally like my skin color literally look at that i'm just gonna dot this all over actually i'm gonna do one side first to see like the coverage of it i'm gonna use my eco tool sponge the color look at that color i'm so impressed right now So that's the before and this is the after. It just puts your skin together but it's so natural, very glowy but I'm really not mad at that. The colour is on point. I was going to get the shade lighter but I'm so glad I went for this one. Uh, I feel like if I get a tan it might be a bit light but this is literally exactly my skin colour right now. And Can you just see like it just puts your skin together. Obviously, it's not full, full coverage. It's, I could almost say it's light to medium coverage. It's covered slightly my darkness around my mouth area. I'm so, 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 so happy with this, like, so far. I, I'm going to have to test it out, like, a full day to see how it wears. But so far, it's applied beautifully. It blended really nicely. And, yeah, I just really like this. But, so the next thing I'm going to be trying is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 7. So the product comes out of this little sponge and you just have to, it's kind of like the Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. Oh, I should have gone with H9. It's a bit light, it's a bit light. Oh, that's really light. Okay, I don't know, I don't know what to say about this. I'm not sure about the coverage. I would definitely have to mix this one with another concealer or a darker concealer, but I don't know, it blends really nicely, it's really smooth, but it's a bit ashy on me because the shade is too light. Right, that looks a bit better for me. I use the Maybelline Angel Wine in the shade Caramel. I'm now going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder. I finally now have this product, so we're going to see how this goes on. So many people have been raving about this. I'm a bit gutted about the concealer. I wish it was like the right shade. I definitely should have gone with eight. So far that went on really nicely. Because like this tinted moisturizer is quite shiny. I'm just setting a bit everywhere. I'm gonna brush that right off. Whoa. That's actually really smooth. Well, the way that smoothed my forehead. Um, this would picture really nice. Look at my forehead, it's so smooth. There's no grey cast, it's set, there's not going dry or anything, it's just super, super smooth. Now we're going to apply some bronzer, which is like my most favourite bit. Um, I'm going to be using the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep. This actually does smell really nice. I don't understand how it can smell so nice. Look 
how beautiful that bronzer is. It went really smooth. I love the colour. Really easy to blend, like. Oh, it just smells so nice. I can't explain what it smells like, but it smells like tropical almost. But really like that. I love how that blended. I finally have this. I've been wanting this for the longest time. Right, and then finally we're just going to apply some of the L'Oreal Lives of Peach blush. This literally smells like peach yogurt. I don't understand all these powders that smell like something. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I'm actually so so happy with everything I got except for the concealer. I'm a bit gutted but I do like how it blended um, so I might get the shade 8. I'm actually really really pleased with the tinted moisturiser. So happy I got this, finally. Um, and I'm actually really surprised at the powder. It really smoothed out my skin and the bronze is beautiful. The blush is beautiful. Like everything smells nice i'm just really happy with all the stuff i got i really do hope you guys enjoyed and had a bit of fun shopping online with me don't forget to check out shoptega link in the info box love you guys lots and i will see you in my next one bye